G'day everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today you might be wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses. That's a good question. But today we've also got to talk about fake NBA jerseys and other jerseys in general. Pretty much most of these jerseys generally come from Bali or Thailand for the most part. But we're just going to have a bit of a look at some. We're going to compare it to a real jersey versus a fake jersey. And we're going to also see just how good some of these jerseys are becoming. Like the fakes are actually becoming quite legitimate in terms of even how they feel. And obviously a lot of people will be a bit torn. It's probably a bit of a debate whether you do like the fake jerseys, you don't like the fake jerseys. But obviously, if you want to buy a real NBA jersey, you're looking at about excess of about $100. But obviously, if you go to Thailand, you can pick them up for a lot cheaper. So why am I wearing these sunnies? Well, I bought these sunnies in Phuket, so an old Phuket town. So obviously, Phuket's a big place of fakes, and these sunglasses cost me 30 baht, which is equivalent to about $3 Australian. And so if you look at these sunglasses closely, they've got the Oakley, got the Oakley symbol on there, and even on the front. So they actually got, look legit from a distance. And for three bucks, like that's that's pretty good. You can pretty much pick these up at most shops in Thailand, even on the beach, there's people on the beach selling these sunglasses. So I picked these up in Old Phuket Town, which is about, I don't know, 15K from Phuket. And it basically didn't have a price on them. So the lady there just said it's 30 baht. I thought it was gonna be about 10 bucks, 15 bucks. But when I realized 30 baht was literally $3, I was like, oh, that's quite, quite a good price. I picked them up. But we're going to have a look at Thailand today. So what better place to go to look at fake jerseys than Bangla Road in Phuket. There's old mate doing his b-boy moves. We've got LeBron probably in his fake jersey there cheering him on. So Bangla markets, they sell pretty much everything. They've got hats, they've got shoes, they've got jerseys, AFL jerseys, NRL jerseys, and a whole heap of NBA jerseys. As you can see there, they've got some of the newer ones, they've got some of the older style ones. You can even sometimes at these shops, pick, you can pick up an NRL jersey, which are look quite good. Even the tags look quite legit on these things. Obviously, Bali has a big variety of NRL and AFL, but Phuket still has quite a lot. As you can see there inside Bangalore Market, you've got some of the hardwood classic style jerseys in that shop. They look quite good. So as you could see there, Phuket, Thailand, Bangkok, wherever you want to go in Thailand, you can pretty much get an NBA jersey, AFL jersey, NRL jersey, that looks quite legit. They look good, they even feel good, the quality of them, you feel them, it's good. It is quite hard to tell on all these jerseys whether they're legit or not. However, the ones in Bali I did find it's a lot easier to tell for a few different reasons. But today we're going to have a look at some of the jerseys. I did pick up a few jerseys, um, a few of the fake jerseys from Thailand. Some people will say, why did you do that? But each to their own, I say. Some people hate the fake ones. I don't personally don't really buy them, but I did buy them in Thailand. More just to have a bit of a comparison video with the, I guess, what's out there. Because some of these jerseys I found, they look quite good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is have a look at a real NBA jersey. A jersey that was purchased from a legitimate store. I know for a fact it's a real jersey. And that is Luka Doncic singlet. You'll see me wear this a few times. I do like a bit of Luka. So this is a real jersey. And the quality feels quite good. Um, even the front there, it's kind of, um, that's kind of like a nice little stitch in there. No actual M no actual tag on this jersey, but you still got that NBA style dry fit on there. And as you can see there, quite quite um, it's not even really stitched, it's more just put on there. And as you can see there, you can't see any of the back of the name on the well you can, but not actually the stitching like the one I'll probably show in a minute. So now we're gonna have a look at one of the fake ones. All right, so the one we're gonna look at today is also a Luka Doncic jersey. This is how you basically buy these jerseys. They come in these little bags once you pick up which one you want off to get your size and all that type of thing. These cost, how much do they cost? About 500 baht, which is equivalent to about $21 Australian. So they're quite cheap, especially when you compare them to the Rebel prices, where you are looking at, I don't know, about $100 for a jersey. So I haven't actually even touched this yet. 
So you get your you get your NBA style tags on these, so they do look very legit. Um, so you get all the tags on there. If you look at the back there, look, these actually you can't even really tell the difference just from that angle. I think this is a size large. The sizes in Thailand are a bit different to your normal sizes. Generally an XL you probably need to get an XL for example. You need to pretty much look at size up. So a large would really if you got a large you need an X large, that makes sense. A small you probably go a medium. As you can see there, not too bad. The stitching, these actually look quite good. That actually feels quite good. That's actually nice material as well. The only real thing I could probably tell the difference with these, that, you know, but this is a fake, is the inside of it. And it's basically got this in it. And you can even peel this away. So if I peel that away, you can peel part of that away. And you could probably almost get most of that off. It actually comes off quite easy, that inside there. And you can actually even probably just get it off just around the name even. So you can even do that. I'll make that a bit better. So you can just rip that off and you eventually have the Don Chick, the D. So if you did that, it would actually make the jersey look a lot more legit. Like I said, these ones, with the tags on them, the average punter would probably think that is legit because they actually feel quite good. And apart from that inside, there's the quality and the feel of these is actually a lot more, they're getting a lot more better than what they do, or what they used to do. And even that that tag there, it's quite quite similar to your normal jerseys. And obviously, you've even got the Jordan symbol there. That's another way to tell the difference, is that the Jordan symbol should be a bit more thicker. But again, the average punter would be none the wiser on that one. So that's a fake jersey, straight out of the packet, that's pretty much how you get them. $21 Australian from Phuket. All right, the second jersey we're gonna look at is a hardwood classic style jersey. This one is a Shaquille O'Neal one. It is a fake one. Kind of looks like the hardwood classics. If you pick this up from somewhere like Sabres, a lot of people would probably think it's real. So again, if you saw that in Sabres, you'd probably be licking your lips thinking, I've made some big, gonna make me some big money on this one because it does look legit. Even that stitch in. I think the real stitching is a little bit better but for the most part, you, the average punter is none the wiser. Again, you've got that little tag on there, which makes it sound like it's a hardwood classic. They've even got the Mitchell and Ness logo. So that to me looks quite real. Again, the stitching on the inside isn't that great compared to your normal singlet. And that's probably pretty much the only way most people would say, hey, this isn't real. But if I saw someone wearing that down the street, I probably couldn't tell whether that is real or a knockoff. Fake. So the jerseys, like I said, are getting a lot more better. The quality is even, that even feels like a Hollywood classic style jersey. So they're definitely doing a lot better um, things when they make these jerseys. And the last jersey I want to look at are the NRL ones. These cost about 700 baht, so roughly about $30 Australian. And these jerseys, I think if I saw this in Savers, I would actually think they are real. I really can't tell the difference they do a great job on these jerseys so you've got look you obviously got the tags it looks like it's an nrl style tag so you think you're buying an nrl look at that jersey it's quite nice it actually feels like an nrl jersey this is one of the indigenous designs you've got those symbols on there on the back again you can pretty much not even tell the, the quality of these is quite good the feel of them is quite good and even like i said this inside tag it says nrl there's no real inside stitching like on the NBA basketball jersey once to even tell. So this jersey here, this Penrith Panthers jersey, indigenous, $30, cost about $30 Australian, I think it's about 700 baht. It's really hard to tell. So I've probably been guilty of buying NRL jerseys like that in Savers. And I legitimately, it's really hard to tell what's fake and what's not with the NRL jerseys. Obviously with the AFL jerseys, much easier. I generally have that blue tag, especially on the ones in Bali. They always say made in Thailand. Well, the ones you buy in Thailand, funnily enough, don't have made in Thailand, not even have made in China. So the ones you see with the AFL that have that blue tag made from Thailand, they're from Bali. They're not actually bought in Thailand, they're actually from Bali. And the ones, these ones here that are actually made in China, they're the ones you'll see in Thailand. 
So when people see these Thailand jerseys, people think they're from Thailand, they're actually from Bali. So that's a bit confusing, I know, but that's how it is. So this is pretty much my video, just on fake jerseys in general and how much better in quality they are getting. Obviously, a lot of people will be anti fake jerseys, etc., etc. That's not really the point of the video. And the point of the video is just to say, um, especially for a reseller, you might find great jerseys like this in Savers, which you think are legit, and you probably sell them thinking they're legit, but they're not. And I, I know quite recently I've picked up about four or five Melbourne Storm jerseys for quite cheap at Savers, and now I'm like, well, I'm not even sure they're real. I assume they're real, but having gone to Thailand and Bali. They were quite possibly just Bali ripoffs. I have no idea. And obviously that's kind of the point of the video is just be careful what you buy because it's really very, very hard to tell, even as a seller, what you're selling. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.